Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Learn to Teach. As in my previous videos, I have discussed about nutrition and its types. Now today I am going to discuss about autotrophic mode of nutrition in a bit detail. For those who haven't watched my previous videos, please do watch it now. The link has been given in the description box. So let us begin. Now, as I've said earlier, that autotrophic nutrition is the mode of nutrition in which an organism prepares its own food and does not depend upon other organisms for their nutrition and survival. And so the organism that follows the autotrophic mode of nutrition, they are known as autotrophs. Example are plants which have the ability to create their own food. Now, Along with the plants, there are certain other living organisms which fall in the category of autotrophic nutrition. And those are algae, green bacteria, non-green sulfur bacteria. Okay, now as these autotrophs, they can prepare their own food. They are also known as producers in a food chain. And they are capable of manufacturing their own food either by the process of photosynthesis or by chemosynthesis. So the autotrophic mode of nutrition, it is further divided into two categories, phototrophic nutrition and chemotrophic nutrition. Now, the organisms which follow the phototrophic nutrition they are known as photoautotrophs and the organisms that follow chemotrophic mode of nutrition, they are known as chemoautotrophs. So here we begin with the two categories, phototrophic nutrition, also known as photoautotrophic nutrition and chemotrophic nutrition, also known as chemoautotrophic nutrition. So the photoautotrophs, they use photosynthesis as a source of energy. Example, the plants and the green bacteria. And the chemoautotrophs, they use chemosynthesis as a source of energy. Example, some algae and non-green sulfur bacteria. Now the phototrophic nutrition is the mode of nutrition in which the organisms make their own food using sunlight, water and carbon dioxide by the process of photosynthesis. And the chemotrophic nutrition, it is the mode of nutrition in which the organisms, they use the chemical energy instead of sunlight to make their food. Now let us learn a bit about the phototrophic nutrition. As you all know that the plants, they undergo the process of photosynthesis to make their own food. Now photo means light and synthesis means combining. And so the term photosynthesis means combining by light. And so during photosynthesis, water, it is combined with carbon dioxide in the presence of light and chlorophyll to produce glucose and oxygen. Now for the preparation of food, plants require water from the soil, carbon dioxide from the air, chlorophyll contained in the leaf and energy from the sunlight. Now as you all know that the plant cells, they contain a number of chloroplasts and these chloroplasts contain the green pigment called chlorophyll. And so chlorophyll is only responsible for the green color of the leaves. And also chlorophyll is important because it absorbs the sunlight, which of course provides energy for the whole process of photosynthesis to take place. Okay, so therefore you can see that the definition of photosynthesis is that it is a process by which green plants capture solar energy and use it to convert carbon dioxide and water into simple sugars. And then oxygen, it is released into the atmosphere. 
Now, as said that along with plants, there are certain bacteria which fall in the category of phototropic nutrition. So we have the cyanobacteria, which is often known as blue-green algae. And so this blue-green algae, they are mostly find, found in the oceans and fresh water. And they are very similar to the green plants because they can use the energy from the sunlight to make their own food through photosynthesis process. Okay, so this was all about the phototrophic nutrition. Now let us move on to the next, that is chemotrophic nutrition. So the living organisms that follow the chemoautotrophic mode of nutrition, they are known as the chemoautotrophs. And so just like the photoautotrophs, they are also able to make their own food, but they use the energy which comes from the chemical reactions instead of the light energy to do so. So the chemoautotrophs, they are able to synthesize their own organic molecules from the fixation of carbon dioxide. And hence we can say that the chemosynthesis, it is a process by which the organisms such as certain bacteria, they use the chemical energy to produce carbohydrates. And they are capable of utilizing the inorganic molecules such as iron, sulfur, hydrogen sulfide, ammonium and magnesium. And they are able to synthesize the organic compounds from carbon dioxide. So this allows them to survive in places where there is no sunlight such as the deep ocean flow. Some examples of chemoautotrophs are nitrogen fixing bacteria located in the soil, iron oxidizing bacteria located in the lava beds and sulfur oxidizing bacteria located in deep sea. So this was all about the autotrophic nutrition. I am soon going to post about the heterotrophic nutrition. Till then keep learning, keep teaching and keep enjoying and please do subscribe my channel Learn to Teach.